Hey, today we're sitting outside a thrift, one of our favorite thrift stores, and I'm with my thrifting partner in crime, my husband. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> He's super excited to be on camera. So let's go see what we find. Hey everyone, it's Alyssa from At Home Hustler. I'm a homeschooling mama of two boys that sells on eBay and makes videos about that. If you like this content, please make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification. That would be so great. On the weekends, I often take my husband along thrifting with me. He has such good eyes for unique items. Actually, we balance each other out. We head to different areas of the thrift store. This thrift store that we went to had some little gold mines waiting for us and I can't wait to share what we found there with you. It was a very, very good, profitable thrifting day. First up is this We Pledge Allegiance dinnerware plates. I know to pick them up because I've gotten a bowl, I sold a chip and dip of the same, uh, it's like a 9-11 commemorative plate. Let's see if I cannot get that glare. <laughs> it just says Pledge Allegiance on the back. I paid $1.99, I got two of these plates. They will sell for $24.99 plus shipping. The second item that I got are these Sony PlayStation Move Motion controllers. Now, sometimes I'll keep my eye out on the people working at the thrift store and see what new products they're putting out. This guy was right behind me and he placed these in the basket and I was like, hmm. Looks like microphones, which I've sold microphones for great money before. So I picked them up and lo and behold, they do go for good money. So the, there are a lot of these for sale, but not as doubles. There's not too many that are sold in a pack of two. The cheapest goes for about $44.95. So I think when there's a lot like this, I will put these on an auction starting on Sundays because that seems to do the best and see what happens. There's been ones sold for $70 as well, so that'll kind of be an exciting uh, bid to watch. Next up is this Borsellini Fedora. You can see the inside, it says Borsellini. I love, love hats. They could bring in really great money, and you don't have to be a hat expert. So there was a box of hats, you can tell that this one's just a nice quality. It has a little ribbon detail to it. And all I do is I flip over all the hats and if they don't have a tag, off they go. If they just have a material tag, I know it's nothing special, but if it is labeled, I will look it up. And hats in thrift stores usually go, they sell them for a very reasonable price. This one was $5.99. Most of the times are cheaper than that, um, but the comps on this is $46.99 plus shipping. So $5.99 into $46.99, excellent thing to keep your eye out on. Sunglasses seem to just fly out of my store. Um, there was a box of sunglasses just sitting to the side, each pair was um, for sale for $2.99. So my husband actually spotted these. They're Maui Jim Orchid. That's the name of them. And they sell for $74. No, $84.99 all day long. So that's pretty exciting. And they were in good condition too. So this will be a very quick, easy flip. In that same bin, uh, he also spotted these Oakley Behave Polish Gold Specs. Kind of fancy. <laughs> um, there's one for sale right now on eBay for $75.99. I 
Comps for solds are between 45 and 79, so I'll take all that into consideration. That seems like a really good place to be in when there's just one for sale. You can, I will probably list it at like $74.99 and call it a day. The next item is kind of fun. It's this jar of watches. Has anybody bought a jar of jewelry or watches? It's kind of like this treasure hunt. Um, sometimes I'm skeptical to pick these up. I have to spot something that's going to pay for the jar plus double. So right on the top is this Baby G G-Shock Casio watch, which I've sold multiple times for $45. There's even some that sell in the $70 range. So this whole jar was $14.99. I actually haven't opened it yet. I'm going to open that in tomorrow's video, hoping there's some other treasure hidden in between this. That would be really fun. <laughs> My next item I spotted because I watched the Harry Tornado. I love all his videos. I probably don't need to do a shout out because you probably are subscribed to him. If you're not, head on over to the Harry Tornado. He has a lot of good information and good finds. In one of his videos, he talked about selling weights and that most weights will fit in a flat rate shipping. Because I was thinking, oh my goodness, that's a really heavy box. What is that gonna cost to ship? But it makes sense. The size of weights will usually fit in flat rate. So I spotted these Nordatrack 20 pounders. There was two of them. Two for $6.99. I quickly looked up comps. I didn't find the exact ones, but I knew, I was thinking I could sell them for about $64 dollars free shipping but once I got home and did a little more investigating they actually sell for hundred nine dollars plus the buyer pays shipping so that that's just one of those things where you go you know reselling is just pretty awesome sitting next to the 20 pounders was one 10 pounder for $3.99 and it looks like that's not as valuable, but can bring in at least $20 plus the buyer paying shipping. So what this taught me is from now on, I'm totally going to look at the weights in thrift stores. And they're often overlooked. They're in the bottom of an area or under sports stuff in a bin. I'm heading there from now on. Weights, for sure. My last item I picked up, and this is new for me too, I was actually watching another reseller and I, I apologize. If it's you and you're watching, comment down below if you've ever sold golf clubs because he brought to my attention that they are valuable and thrift stores price them so cheap. And a lot of the thrift stores have a lot of them. This Yesterday, this thrift store had about 15. So I did a quick look, bought one of them. Uh, this was $2.99. Comps are, it's a Killer B Stinger Plus number, number nine, if you can see that. I have no clue what that means because, well, I have ADD and I just can't play golf but it's a great sport and it looks like comps are between 32 and 54 dollars probably depending on the number and how rare that is it's pretty light so it'll be a light ship pretty easy to box up so I'm excited to list my first golf club and to know that gosh they're all over garage sales they're all over thrift stores so it's something easy to come by so all in all, we paid $58 yesterday at the thrift store. That's not really a fair uh, number because my husband always buys stuff for himself. Like he bought a wood umbrella that he was really, a wood handled umbrella he was really excited about. <laughs> um, and a couple other little things, but we paid 58. I haven't broken it down, but the total minimum sales from these items is $492.98. I mean, that's a good day. 
that's a good thrifting day. So I'm super excited to list these and maybe you'll see some of them in my what sold videos. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumb. Please subscribe if you would like more to see more of these videos and hit that bell notification. You will be notified of my next video, which is going to be opening up those watches. I'm hoping there's something in there. It's kind of just the, the hunt is something that's fun. Um, have a wonderful week and God bless.